There are times that what God ordained for you, men will begin to fight about it. In First King, if you read First King chapter 12, particularly it can start from the beginning, but I just want to emphasize something from verse 20. But I read normally I would I would love to read from 22. Look at 22 to 24. But the word of God came to Shemai, this man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Thus said the Lord, he shall not go up. Not so to that fight, nor fight against your brethren and the children of Israel. Return every man to his own house, for this thing is from me. They are king, therefore, to the word of the Lord, and return to depart according to the word of the Lord. I pray for you, may the word of the Lord come to pass in your life. You know, there are times that situation is created by God, and you fight. That's why you should not fight any Christian brother. You should not fight any Christian sister. It doesn't matter what is happening. This story here, God has told Solomon, because you have done what you have done, because I promised David that you will sit, one of his descendants will always be on the throne, I will not take the throne from you. I will divide Israel into two. I will give you Judah and give another person Israel. So, Rehoboam did not know. There are many things we are fighting about today that we do not know. God has spoken, and that's why you must find that God is the will of God. And that's why you must say no to fighting your Christian brother or Christian sister. You must say no to fighting any battle that you don't understand. Fighting a battle you don't understand will lead you against God. Thank God that this time God spoke to a man of God and the people are came. The scripture says in Isaiah 34, 16, not one of the word of God lack a need. They will always be performed. And that is why whatever God has said to you in your life, may He come to pass. And what God has not said, what God has not proclaimed, I say not so to it for you and for me in the name of Jesus. So you need to know the mind of God. The Lord bless you.